Welcome to Behind the Bar by Grey Goose. In this episode, we're exploring some easy garnishes that you can make right at home. The way a cocktail is presented is an essential part of the experience, so the right garnish can make a big impact on your finished drink. That's right, Leon. Garnishes can add visual appeal, aromatics, and some subtle flavors. Once shaken or stirred and strained, we garnish. We garnish. All right, I'm gonna kick it off today. Okay. I'm gonna talk about a whole genre of garnishes that I think are a little misunderstood and often questioned about, which is the citrus category. So let's start with citrus wheels. We have a lime wheel here. You'll often see these on the rim of a glass or maybe floating in the top of a cocktail. They're beautiful for, for visual appeal. They're great for aromatics. You're not gonna get a ton of flavor out of them, but solid option in the citrus garnish game. Next up, we have peels. So these are often in stirred cocktails. They're great to express essential oils over the top of your drink. So when you're using a peel, you're gonna express over the top and then you can kind of twist it and put it in your glass or you can discard. So there's a few options, but be mindful of which citrus you're using and make sure it pairs with the cocktail you're making. So orange, lime, lemon, grapefruit, mm -hmm. like be really mindful of the flavors already in the glass when you're picking your peel. A twist is kind of like a peel's little brother, <laughs> younger cousin. Um, it's just gonna be mostly for appearance, a little bit for the aromatics, but they sure are cute and they look great in a stirred drink. And then we have wedges. So you'll see these quite a bit, oftentimes on the rim of a glass, but really this is kind of like an option. So you can add a little bit more tartness from expressing the citrus into your drink and giving it a squeeze, or you can leave it on the edge of your glass and just get the aromatics from it. So. I hope that was a little helpful for the citrus world yes. in the terms of garnishes, but you're gonna take us to some different herbs and fruits. Yes, so we will first talk about strawberries. So first, when you're working with strawberries, you wanna cut the strawberry in half so you can see the pop of the color. Of course, you wanna make sure that this strawberry is fresh. Um, a way that you can actually spaz up, let's say like your classic Grey Goose and Soda, is actually to cut them in thin slices and slide them into um, the inside of your vessel to give it a nice little pop in color and have a subtle flavor with that strawberry releasing into your cocktail. Um, I think that strawberry is an excellent flavor for summery additions and it pairs very well with lemongrass. I love that. I love the herb and fruit pairing as well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some other fruits. White peaches. White peaches or any sort of stone fruit are amazing for adding into cocktails. I love the idea of having thin peach slices like in a stirred drink in a rocks glass. They're also great when you dice them up and put them in like a sangria or something nice and fruity. Um, perfect in a spritz. So they really add a little bit of like spring and summer into your glass uh -huh. and I really think that peach goes great with a savory rosemary type herb so really like playing off that sweet and that savory I also love watermelon and cocktails okay. so I think this is like the go-to fruit for summery drinks um, you can kind of dice it up you can put thin slices you could just use the rind I've actually seen pickled watermelon rind which is a really cool garnish game um, but the color is beautiful whether you use the outside or the inside. Yes. So you've got two great options there. And watermelon goes very well with the peppery basil. For sure, I love the idea of having a nice basil with watermelon. And if you don't know, mint is a perfect, perfect multi-usable herb. Yeah, I feel like mint is like, if you don't know what to put in your glass, a mint sprig is always a good answer. Yes. It's never a wrong answer. Yes. What are some of your favorite drink garnishes? Let us know in the comments. And for more great drink recipes, tips and tricks, click below.